Hello, this is Roland Jung from ePlan Canada. The future of engineering is, of course, when you decide to go with ePlan. So let me show you something that we have been using in the past. And for some reason, these ribbons um, in 2022 may not necessarily have it right now. As an example is this here, very often in North America, we show it as external. So we show it as dashed lines. Um, what we can also do in some specific cases, of course, as you may remember, when we want to assign a color to a specific wire, we could use the potential. So here I'm assigning a potential, and this particular potential was a, from a first legend page, not even here, but at the legend level, was actually predetermined here to be a specific color. So I just decided here, which are my standard potential, 24 VDC, zero volt, and I decided my particular colors in here. And this is what triggers the colors down the road. 80% of my wires are actually affected by these wires here, either through interruption points like this or uh, by reassigning the potential. On the power side, these colors, actually red, black, and blue, same thing, they actually come from that very first page here where I decided to actually assign L1, L2, L3, and according to our Canadian rules, we have it in different colors uh, depending on L1, L2, L3, and this is what I did here. Now, Eventually, you will come down to a fact that you have a wire like this. By default, it picks up some sort of a color. Where does that color come from? Well, initially, when you look back into your settings, into your project settings, for each project, you have a connection property tab. This property here assigns a default value, a default cross-section diameter, and it also a cross default color. Now, of course, this should be your most popular color, probably your controls. And if you decide to put them 18 gauge red, so be it. If you prefer to have them black, well, just assign whatever color you want here. And this is what will reflect on any given wire that does not have any colors assigned. Now, of course, if I double click here, you will see this has no value in neither in color nor in gauges. But as we did in previous versions, we can actually assign a specific color by just clicking on here and clicking on, let's say, the color and make it blue. Now, you won't see it right away because you may have to update the way that I do it here. I use block properties, but you can assign very quickly numerous wires in one single click using these ribbons that I created. Now, how do we create these ribbons? Quite easy. You just go here to custom ribbons customize ribbons you add yourself within any tab you wish you can add a new um, here command group now i added the cross sections and within the cross sections i added these individual ones right how do i create one of these quite easy what you have to figure out is what is the property number of the wire cross section and then all you have to do is pick from the left hand side here, set component property, move it over. Now, what do I assign it to? Let's say I want to do a six American wire gauge. Now, the American wire gauge is basically just text that you may repeat here as the tooltip or even as set uh, wire cross section, same value. And of course, this is where the magic plays. Six is the value, right? The property value. And what is the property? Is 31,002. This is the number of the property itself. Now, if you wish to actually move it into this particular position, you just put it there. And you can even, if you want to change it again, just click here and choose whichever logo or icon you wish to actually use there and there we go so we just added the six american wire gauge how did i do it with the color cross section easy the color cross section is primarily the same idea 
it's just it's a different property. So we assign 31,004, so 31004, which is a property number, and the value. The rest here does not really depend, uh, change anything. So I picked here a, an existing image. I did not create myself any kind of icons. I could have, of course, created a new icon, pick a new icon, 16 by 16, assign it here, and it would have worked very nicely. So this is how it works here. And the line types, these are actually a little bit special because what I'm doing is I'm using a different action here. I'm actually using the set graphical format of a connection, connection definition. And it only works on connection definitions, of course, once they are placed. And I change the line type to zero or one, one being dashed for the external representation and one being the continuous lines. And this is how it created these two here, external and internal. I hope that this here is an interesting um, news for you. And of course, on top of all that, if you want to save this information, you can export the ribbon. And this actually allows you to save one common file, XML file, into your XML folder. Anyone else can import them back into this here and it will actually be read in. If you want to make sure that this is part of your workspace, make sure to save your workspace, including these new toolbars or ribbons, and they will be part of that workspace. And if you export the workspace, well, you get not only the ribbons, but also all the positions of all the windows. This was Roland Jung from ePlan Canada. Please subscribe if you like these videos. I try to make as many as possible when I have an interesting topic that people want to see. You can also write uh, to your support people and use the ePlan Solution Center to ask any kind of questions. The ePlan support team is there to help you. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot answer all the comments or questions that I get on my YouTube videos. Uh, so again, the future of the engineering is here just by using ePlan 2022. So have fun. Thank you.